guys, it's Jen here and welcome to Jen's Wild About Art. So today I'm doing a pit pen and watercolour picture of a little Australian green tree frog. So these guys are absolutely gorgeous. The colours are so vibrant and amazing and I thought it'd be fun to try. Yeah, and it was fun to try and draw these little guys. I haven't drawn a frog before. Um, and on my farm, I live on a farm and we've got water near the house. We've got um, a dam down the back and a, a seasonal creek out the front and we water our gardens with our dam water so quite often we've got lots of frogs living in the front gra front garden and um, we'll get up in the morning and there'll be a little frog climbing up the window <laughs> and when you open the curtain there's a little smiley face looking at you so they're very very cute and we do get tree frogs here too but they're multicolored ones they're not so solid green as these ones so yeah so it was fun doing the research so I yeah I found a few really good photos to work from so yeah, I'm using my Schminky watercolours and my Faber-Castell pit pens for this piece. So I'm going in with a light green and I'll just start building up layers. And then I add a mid-tone green just around the edges of his mouth and the darker areas of his, his, his legs and body. And just pop marks on his legs because it shows where his legs are sort of folded up. And then I go in with quite a vibrant green and decide that's a bit strong. <laughs> so then I tone it down a fraction by going over again uh, with the light green just to soften it all, blend it all in a little bit. And they've got amazing yellow underbellies and the color in them is so incredible. Their skin is actually quite fascinating. When you look at photos close up of frog skin, they are actually, they're magnificent little things. Um, so now I'm going in with an orange just into the eyes and there's a little bit of orange through their underbelly. So I've just added the beginnings of that now and I'll blend that out with a few different colours. So I'm just doing the beginnings of it. So I'm just adding that, I think it's a cat orange. Just take that around, right around underneath the darkest areas where the orange is. Then I'll try and blend it out a little bit with a yellow to soften it all take that over the top of everything. So now I'm going in with the indigo into the pupil and around the edges of the eyes and his little nostrils. And then I go through with the black and do the same thing just over the top. And around the trim of their eyes, they've got a really strong, vibrant red and some really good sort of orange in there. So I've had fun doing their eyes. And now I'm taking the light green and I'm doing the dots around just for some skin texture around his little body just to give him a bit more detail. And then I go in, cause he's got reflections, like watery reflections on his back and on his legs. So I pop a little bit of white pen in there. And I tried to use my gel pen, but that didn't really work. So I go in for the good old faithful Posca, which does everything. It pretty much fixes everything you hold Posca pen. So I grab my white Posca and I just add a few dotted highlights on his back and on his eye and just around the front of that leg. And then I go in with the lilac -y colour and just strengthen up the shadows and blend a bit more. So now I'm going in with the watercolour and adding just a pale green background, just a very damp wash. I'm taking that right around. So I used a light green just around the, the generally around the background and now I'm going in with indigo, like a pure indigo um, and just doing the shadow areas just to give them some real contrast. So I add a few different values of the indigo just to really ground him into the background. And we're done. So I hope you enjoyed this little video. It was great fun doing this tree frog. Um, yeah, I hope you have an awesome day, guys. And yeah, I'll see you for the next video. Okie doke, I'll catch you then. Bye.